Some rare historical footage has just been found. This footage totally exposes NASA, the space station, the space shuttle, the globe, and many, many others, as we're about to see. So here's the clipping question. It's just over a minute long. I'm going, I'm going to play it without stopping. We're going to watch this astronaut here dig a deeper and deeper and a bigger and bigger hole for himself. And I'm going to come back to you at the end of this little short clip. And we're absolutely going to destroy the space industry off the back of this historical clip. See if you can spot the problem. Okay. Of course, it was the, uh, the space shuttle, which is an incredible machine that got us up here. And once we got up here, Mike Bull, Claude Nicolier, Steve Smith, and myself got to get into our own spacesuits, our own spaceship, in orbit around Earth. And these are incredible machines, and they allowed us to fix the Hubble Space Telescope. We sincerely like to thank all those folks at the Johnson Space Center, at Hamilton Sunset, at ILC Dover, uh, at Boeing, and all the various subcontractors that contribute to these great spacesuits and all the tools that we use. We had over 500 piece parts out here uh, to do our job, the tools, and of course all the training that we had to do at our uh, large swimming pool, the neutral buoyancy facility. And without that large team, this couldn't have happened. And I know uh, I feel especially privileged, as do all the crew members on board, and uh, personally as an astronomer, as are Mike and Claude Nicolier, to have had the chance to work on the world's greatest telescope. And uh, we hope to see it back in service uh, very soon. And from the uh, crew of Discovery, the STS-103 Hubble mission, we'd also like to wish everybody happy holidays and some peace on Earth. Did you spot it? I suspect most of the regular viewers were all over it as soon as it revealed itself to us. Now, bearing in mind, the astronaut who was narrating the video here had told us he'd got to space via the space shuttle, was currently orbiting the globe Earth in his space shuttle while he was fixing the Hubble Space Telescope. Now that made for a wonderful story. That was until his pal decided to lift his head up behind the space prop here, whack-a-mole style, and in doing so, reveal NASA's neutral buoyancy lab lighting setup in the reflection of his helmet for us all to see. You can see it there. The rows of lights in the astronaut's helmet on the right hand side there. We look at NASA's neutral buoyancy lab, the lighting setup, and of course we can see the Hubble telescope, which is supposed to be a mock up training one. But based on this official Hubble telescope footage, we can now safely say this is the real Hubble telescope. No doubt the data they get is from telescopes based on Earth or ones based in planes like Sophia. That's not my opinion regarding this being the real Hubble telescope. That now is a demonstrable fact backed up by historical footage showing NASA's neutral buoyancy labs lighting setup in the reflection of the helmet of one of NASA's astronauts who's supposedly fixing a space telescope in space. The Hubble, the real Hubble, is believe it or not underwater. Not my opinion, an historical demonstrable fact backed up by two NASA legends. Dear oh dear.